Hey you guys. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. I was smoking. And I'm still smoking. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about what it's like to, you know, not fit in with other people and not be able to make friends with people because of your faith. Like, we all have friends that are worldly, that like to party and drink and do drugs and sleep around and stuff. And, you know, there was a time in my life where I thought that was okay. And, you know, like, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Like, this stuff is not going to last. No, buddy, we don't even have anything to hold on to. We only have this life. But see, our conscience can lead us into believing the lies of the devil. The devil doesn't care whether, whether you're happy or not. He likes to see you miserable that way so you can question God. That way so you... It's okay to question God because... David did it in Psalms a lot. He's like, why won't you rescue me? Why won't you sing our angels? Why won't you take the pain, Lord? Don't you hear me? Like, all these different... And we kind of buffer over that and kind of get to the main part where God heals them. But, you know, sometimes we go through pain. We go through a lot of pain. Physically, mentally, spiritually. And today I just want to talk about a top a little what I like to call it mental leprosy in case you didn't know what leprosy was leprosy means that you can hurt yourself really really bad and you won't feel any pain but you could get infected and die like your toe could get cut off and you wouldn't feel it so you wouldn't know that you need to put medicine on it and neosporin and all that out you know like band-aids but you wouldn't cover it and it gets infected i don't know if anybody's ever said spiritual leprosy or mental leprosy but imagine if we couldn't feel emotions and that's why I say mental leprosy because what if we couldn't feel all the bad things that people do to us and feel that in our heart like we've been betrayed and so if we couldn't feel how could we heal but we don't realize uh, why God put us through this pain Maybe it's depression, maybe it's physical pain, maybe it's mental pain, maybe it's spiritual pain. Maybe you feel like God's not close to you anymore. That's my definition of uh, mental leprosy. Like when we were growing up as kids, our parents used to say, don't touch the stove, it's hot. If you touch the stove, you will burn yourself. And maybe you were like, I don't believe you. So you touched the stove and burnt yourself. And you felt the pain. So if you felt pain, you knew not to do it again. You see, pain helps us grow. And this depression, this sadness, maybe you went through a breakup, maybe something, somebody had died, and you don't understand why you treat you keep trying to avoid something that can help you you keep avoid trying to call out to god for help because you believe he doesn't hear you and that's mental leprosy because you're never going to heal unless you know you've been hurt and you admit it you've been hurt cry do things say ouch i don't know you know Pray honestly. Sorry I got off topic, but back to the topic of not fitting in. But this is also what 
mental leprosy could be. So what I was seeing from the beginning was we tend to think that this world is the norm and that nothing ever gets better and that our pain can be numbed and pushed aside just like every other girl in the world who doesn't believe in the power and grace of God. They're spiritual, mental lepers. They're literally hurting themselves, but they don't realize it. They're turning to people and things that can help them feel better. And God is just saying, come back to me. I have a purpose for you. You're not done. You're not over. I want you. I want to be your God. Jesus is calling out for you. He doesn't, when one sheep runs away from the flock, he doesn't stay with the flock. He goes and finds that one sheep and brings it back to the flock. Don't forget about how special and precious your life is. It's fleeting. Don't waste your time doing drugs, alcohol, you know, partying and living a sinful life. 